Are there any other comments from board members? It's then time to vote on this matter. On action item three, Ms. Dancy. Uh, I've reviewed the material, uh, and as you said, it's not a renewal, but I just feel that I don't see how it can be achieved. And as a result of that, I'm voting no. Ms. Fix Lopez? No. Mr. Huang? Yes. Dr. McCogan? Uh, because I'd rather see money spent on trying to achieve those goals rather than on legal fees, and the school's going to remain open in this time frame anyway, I'm voting yes. Dr. McGinley? I'm reluctantly voting yes. The agreement asserts a clear timeline and clear criteria to resolve the status of the school and uh, includes the uh, surrender clause, and the school must meet all of the required criteria in order to uh, continue in operation. Dr. MacGyver? Um, I actually have a longer statement that goes with my vote um, because I, I'd like it in the record, so I'd like to just read this. Um, in the late 90s, I was a participant in Black Alliance for Educational Options, an organization that advocated for more and better options for Philadelphia students. I became a believer in the power of charter schools to provide access to educational opportunities that so many children in our district did not have. Implied in the founding of charter schools is the belief that children can achieve at levels far above those found in district schools. By design, charter schools are not burdened by the bureaucracy that makes innovation challenging in a large district like ours. That is why the historical data regarding student achievement at Richard Allen is so alarming. It signals to me that this school, free from the burdens of bureaucracy, given the flexibility to imagine and innovate and the ability to directly hire and train staff, has not demonstrated that they can provide a better educational option for children. I believe that this school should close, but recognize that closing a school has an impact on the community, families, and children involved. I find it surprising that Richard Allen has not experienced a reduction in enrollment. This tells me that the community is heavily invested in the success of the school, and closing a school, which the community has embraced, can have a detrimental impact on the most vulnerable members of that community. It is for this reason that I am voting yes, but encourage the community to demand more from Richard Allen. Your children can achieve more, your children deserve more. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Walker. Our commitment is to quality. 